So come and have a look at the Ammonic Hotel here in Ljubljana. Uh, I think it was a great choice. I booked it online and location, location, location. It was excellent. And so it was just a short walk over the bridge to the old town. And there's a map, give you more of an idea exactly where it is. And uh, everything was in, in walking distance. Although, if you see there, <laughs> very hard to find. Um, not big signage or anything like that, but extremely uh, clean. Fantastic staff, and they did have a restaurant, although I didn't use it. So my room uh, consisted of a double bed, very comfortable, uh, TV, great clean bathroom, everything you need. Uh, also space, heaps of space. I didn't need all this space, um, but there's heaps of space. There's a desk, so if you are a writer or you do paperwork when you're away, like I do actually, um, yeah, they, you've got the desk as well. They also had a laundry, which I didn't need. I was at the beginning of my trip, but good to know. So um, there were stairs, but I was on the uh, ground floor. And there's the best price I found by Trivago. 158 Australian dollars a night. Great value for uh, something that's right in the middle of the town. And I'll tell you one little tip about Ljubljana. It's the only European city that uses these cavaliers, which are elec electric buggies that take you through the old town or basically out or in of the old town because cars, apart from these trucks you see that are delivering to restaurants and that, the cars aren't allowed in the old town. So these little cavaliers, they can pick you up and take you where you want to go. This is the only city in Europe that does this. So it's raining outside and it's taking me up to the taxi van. So these are free of charge, although I left a tip because they are all volunteers. And I must say, yes, that's where I had my uh, that's breakfast. Where I had breakfast. Um, this was so appreciated on this rainy, rainy day, as it is for the disabled, as you see there. They help them out as well. Well, I'm Travel Bug Sue. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick review. I'll see you next time.